Aw, look at you with your little mobile device or computer and your cute hairdo coming in here to get caught up with the tech news. That's all. <laughs> That's adorable. Apple's recent troubles with selling Macs are even worse than everyone thought. An IDC report claims that Mac shipments in the first three months of this year were down 40% compared to Q1 last year. And that's even worse than PC shipments overall, which were down by about 30%. Market analysts are trying to determine a possible cause for the dip, occurring at a time when breakfast cereal costs more than your hourly wage, but so far, nothing checks out. Apple admitted to investors last week that its overall revenue had dropped 5% compared to this time last year, which isn't much, but hear me out. It might be time for Microsoft to strike, because according to people on Reddit, Windows on ARM runs kind of well now. I haven't paid attention to it since 2021 when an M1 MacBook ran Windows 10 in a virtual machine better than the flagship ARM-powered Surface. But now, Windows 11 apparently has great ARM support, to the point where processor maker Ampere's new 128-core Ultra Dev Kit supports Windows. It might need all 128 of those cores to keep up with a MacBook, but do we wanna buy the $2,000 Dev Kit or wait until MacBook Airs are more expensive than that? We wanna wait? Yeah, okay, I'll drop it. Yeah. One of YouTube's wacky experiments from last year has actually come to fruition with enhanced bitrate 1080p for YouTube premium members rolling out first on iOS. And while this might seem lame to non-premsters, would you rather have the 20 ads in front of a video? We should be thanking YouTube for enacting one of the less garbage ones. Furthermore, the premium 1080p experience apparently is in fact being enhanced over and above the non-premium, peasant, stinky, normal 1080p quality, which is not being degraded. YouTube found a way to make their platform better, but only for those willing to pay a monthly subscription. Hmm? What? What? Oh, sorry, I, I thought I heard someone say Twitter. Actually, if YouTube's following Elon's lead, here's an idea. Let YouTube premium subscribers see dislike counts again would make bullying people easier, but you paid for the privilege, so. And MSI has confirmed it was the victim of a cyber attack last week. Ransomware group Money Message claimed responsibility and said it was able to steal source code and BIOS firmware for which it wants MSI to pay four million to recover. So they figured, you know, after we do a hack, we send a message asking for money. So we thought, hey, you know, money message, you know, it made sense. You know? It's unclear whether the hackers thought about their plan as much as their name though, because even if MSI did pay the ransom, there's no way to ensure the hackers don't copy the data and exploit it. So MSI still has to invalidate a bunch of certificates and rewrite stuff anyway. Should have gone with inconvenience message. Uh... <laughs> MSI is urging users to only download firmware slash BIOS updates from its official website, but Maybe hold off updating your BIOS for a little bit just to make sure you're getting the good one and not the one made to look legit by the guys who apparently also took advice from Elon's revamped plan for blue check marks. It just doesn't, doesn't make a lot of sense. Now it's time for Quick Bids, brought to you by Vessi, maker of shoes that they claim are 100% waterproof, which are obviously very attractive to those of us living in a city colloquially known as Raincouver, for what I hope are obvious reasons. Vessi shoes are designed to be stretchy and convenient, so you can doff and don them with ease. They've got a wide range of styles, so you're sure to find a pair that fits your vibe. <laughs> Bro. Cleaning your Vessies is a breeze as well. Rinse them in the sink or even throw them in the wash. Whether you're out for a jog or walking your dog, Vessi's Diamond X technology will keep your feet dry and comfortable all year round. So treat your feet. Go to Vessi.com slash techlinked and use code techlinked to get 15% off your purchase. Once again, I would like to clarify that the following five shorter stories are what we call the quick bits. Some people have been confused about that for years, which I will not apologize for. Some leaks about Nvidia's upcoming RTX 4070 have come up, including images of the card's dual slot design, its reported release date of April 13th, and its reported MSRP of 599 USD. As some fans are pointing out though, the expected performance gains over previous generations are not that impressive for the price, unless you saw Digital Foundry's recent demo of the new ray tracing overdrive mode in Cyberpunk 2077 and thought, I would pay any price to see the makeshift burrows constructed by the disadvantaged street people of a future dystopia illuminated with greater fidelity. 
Tesla is facing a class action complaint triggered by the news last week that the company's employees shared customers' private sensitive videos using an internal messaging system and even made memes out of the footage. The lawsuit is being filed in California by the law firms Fitzgerald Joseph and Bloodhurst and O'Reardon. Is Bloodhurst with Fitzgerald or the other one? Hopefully this, hopefully this suit goes somewhere because at this point we've seen enough examples of companies telling you that they don't, we don't look at your private stuff and then it coming out that, oh, ah, oh yes, actually they, they totally do. Uh, should, should probably lead to something other than us making jokes about it. Nintendo is still pushing hard for that worst gaming company trophy. Their latest effort involves subpoenaing, subpoenaing Discord for the personal information of the user who leaked images from the art book for the upcoming Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Nintendo has demanded any info that could identify the user. Name, phone number, email address, regular hair salon, mother's place of work, because they'd like to, uh, you know, deliver a gift. The subpoena comes right after the company DMCA'd videos from YouTuber Point Crow about cool Nintendo-related stuff, like the Breath of the Wild multiplayer mod that just released. Look, Nintendo is just worried about you liking their games too much. Just play the normal games on the normal Switch, okay? That way, you can't get hurt like they did. Amazon has banned the Flipper Zero, a gadget used by tinkerers to hack garage doors, computers, or basically anything from sale on its marketplace. Because according to Amazon, it's a card skimming device, which is not true, unless you do use it for that because you probably could. To be fair to Amazon, the device's aesthetics are a bit baby's first hacking tool, so they're probably worried kids might order it with their parents' credit card, and they ain't going anywhere near that. You can still get the Flipper Zero on its website or enjoy it vicariously through LTT's recent video. And Discord is in even more trouble because turns out government documents that detailed the US and NATO's plans for a Ukrainian counteroffensive leaked first in an unofficial Minecraft Discord server. <laughs> the documents then showed up on 4chan, being posted by users trying to win an argument. Yeah, it's okay, War Thunder forums. This one isn't on you. It's on other people that apparently don't understand that posting classified documents to own the other guy is maybe not worth it just for the internet cloud. I mean, you did, you did get them though. Definitely won that back and forth. That was oof, nice. <laughs> and you could win a whole new set of tech news if you come back on Wednesday. It takes some time to parse through what the government says we're allowed to tell you and what we're not. So we just need a few days. So.